Oh, hello. Hello, you're gonna push yourself right up. Myrtle has been so affectionate. She's gonna bring me her toy. Right, we're not gonna do this, Mert, because I want to talk to everyone and you're very distracting. So let's take your toy, thank you, and put you in the other room. Come, Mert, good girl. Well, that's not the other room, is it? Sorry, everybody. Oh, she's taken herself off to the other room. Good. In you go. That's a bit of a funny old start. So I'm back in London. And I'd like to say I'm pleased to be back. I am pleased to be back. Of course I'm pleased to be back. I have a very lovely life. I live in a very lovely part of the world, in this beautiful city. But the weather is rubbish. And if anyone listened to my radio show, you will know that um, our landing into Gatwick, coming back from Mallorca, we had to do um, a false landing, a second landing because of the winds last weekend. So that's what welcomed us back to Blighty. And um, it's never really got going. The weather hasn't really picked up. It's grey skies, it's quite warm, and I know that the weather we've left in Europe is very very hot a heat wave i personally loved it but i don't have health conditions that are affected by the heat so i'm very lucky and i realize that but i miss that heat anyway i'm not going to start this vlog off by moaning but it is weird you know when you come back from um from a especially from a retreat you are incredibly relaxed and the moment you get into london you just, it's full on. It is full on. And um, we've all, we started a little WhatsApp group and a couple of us have said, oh gosh, you know, it's only when you're away you realise just how full on your life is in London. And I'm just literally getting back into the whole groove of it. And um, yeah, no, it's, you know, gosh, I love, I love my life. And I love my life in London. It's just so completely different to my week in Mallorca. And thank you so much, all of you, for your comments on that vlog. It was a very chilled vlog. I watched it back here for the first time on Sunday morning. And I thought, oh my God, this is so slow. It's almost going backwards compared to my usual rhythm of my videos. I somehow got to ha uh, meet a happy medium, I think. Um, anyway, so I've still got my tan, which is good, considering I'm swimming every day and I think the chlorine bleaches my body, but I've still got some of my tan. And um, yeah, it's, um, and it's on my legs. I've still got some tan on my legs, not on my main body, which I didn't really get, I didn't get a lot of it into the sun. Enough. What I need to say is this is a funny old week. I'm gonna take you along with me, but it is a funny old bits and pieces week. Um, back at work, back at my radio show, Dave is back. He'd grown a beard since I'd been away. Dave the cabbie, who will appear at the end of this vlog, um, he may have shaved the beard off because I wasn't over complimentary. It just made him look a bit like Father Christmas. He looked quite old and he's not old. So anyway, I don't know, he might, have the, he might have the beard at the end of the vlog, he might not. Um, but it was great to see him and my mates. But Marylebone, so people who live in nature always talk about the seasons that happen in the country, you know, as um, summer comes full pelt and then summer comes to an end and you can hear Myrtle out there padding about. Um, but so does a city, and so does an area such as Marylebone. Marylebone has different seasons. And even when I'd been away, I'd only been away a week, and because I live on the high street, I see the changes. And um, we're getting a new bakery, we're getting a Japanese bakery on the high street. I am so excited about that. Um, I love bread, and one bakery has just closed whilst I've been away, which was a real shock. It's where I used to run down and get my coffee and a croissant. That closed, but another one is opening 
at the end of Marylebone High Street. There was, so I've only been back, what is it, three days and I've already bought in the sales, because all the sales are on, I bought this seersucker. This is seersucker gingham dress. I'm not going to tell you where, it was a third of the price. It's the sort of dress I can just wear around the flat, going out to the shops with my Birkenstocks, not dressy, very chilled, you know, loose stomached. I'm loose stomached, it's loose stomached. Um, if you follow me on Instagram, I actually said where I got it from and there are still some left. You may not like it, it is very Little House on the Prairie, but I love it. It's I don't know if you can see it properly. It's got pockets as well um, and very, very chilled. But what I wanted to show you is some of the shops on the high street. I meet so many of you um, when I'm out on Marylebone High Street. But often from all over the country, from all over the world actually, you come to Marylebone and it's wonderful. Why not? Best bit of London. But there are shops I've never introduced you to. There are things that have changed since I've been away. And I just want to introduce you to a couple of my favourite shops. Um, and one, I'm going to kick off with one, because I'm going to go down there and film. I'll smart myself up a bit. I'm going to go down there and film because it's, an, it's, a, it's a little accessory novelty shop. I think it's the only one um, in London. I think that it's Caroline Gardner. I think it's her only shop. So I'm going to take you in there. And then I'm going to show you other little bits of Marylebone. Um, because as I say, it's a new season in this part of the city. So I think you'll enjoy this. Do you remember when um, Caroline Gardner sent me some dog accessories? And I got so excited because Caroline Gardner was on my radio show many, many, many years ago when she came to Marylebone High Street and opened a shop selling cards. And um, it was wonderful. Everyone needs a card shop. And this is the, this is the shop. And obviously it still sells a great deal of cards. And you will see that a lot of the cards have dogs on. And this dog is Caroline's dog, Frank. And um, she then moved on. You can probably see me here. Hello, everyone. She then moved on to accessories. And she had cashmere bobble hats with those fluffy pom-poms that you could take on or off. Which was, so it could be a beanie or it could be a lovely pom-pom hat in cashmere. Um, Anyway, I have watched her grow and grow, so now, have a look. If you're in Marylebone, it's almost opposite Waitrose. And right at the back is what she was possibly known for first of all, which is her card collection. And more ceramics. Lovely I love this collection of side plates. So great gifts. So it was inevitable I was going to pick up some bits whilst I was at Caroline Gardner. This, for any of you who has 
a dog like mine who is um, a, a bull breed but also loves their food this slow feeding bowl is brilliant because you put the food around it and they have to eat slowly they can't just um, what's the word scoff <laughs> scoff their food what do you think of that Mert so she's got two bowls now and she's got the normal bowl which you've seen me use before and this is a slow feeding bowl I just love it it's beautiful ceramics um, and that will make a great gift but that you're keeping and the other thing I picked up is you will know that um, most of my plates are aquamarine um, I love that um, my cups my plates are aquamarine but I love novelty um, crockery and ceramics and um, I don't know if you've seen my cow in the bath butter dish this is the only thing I have remaining from my wedding and he's lost an ear so I usually display him on that side but um, Yes, this is my cow in the path, bath butter dish. I love um, novelty crockery, as I said. How I've, I've moved so many times since my marriage. Somehow this stayed. Put that back carefully, Myrtle. We do not want to break that. But it um, just leads me on to show you what I picked up at Caroline Gardner, which are these side plates. Beautiful, I love the weight to them. And they are, they have the same uh, sort of aquamarine, I don't know what colour, it's the colour of these cushions and you'll see it on a lot of my crockery. Um, oh, so sorry Mert, she gets scared of the cushion. Myrtle, it's only a cushion. Anyway, um, you are funny, she's such a fun, she's such a sensitive dog for a bulldog. Um, so yes, go bananas. So I got four of those and I honestly think they will be wonderful for my dinner parties up on the roof when I have Simon Lysett and his husband and Joss Van Tyler over. So yeah, Caroline Gardner, really wonderful products, all British, all made by the fantastic artist and I will leave the link below. This is not sponsored, this is not a collaboration. As I've always said, I like to point out um, talented entrepreneurs especially when they're British as well. Um, and yeah, go and check out the shop and check out our website. So I have to get my nails done. Um, when I was away, I left off the varnish so because my nails got very dry and brittle. So um, I, um, I'm going to have my nails done this afternoon. Um, and this is maintenance, obviously. And Myrtle needs her maintenance because she needs to get her nails done as well. And she's a nightmare. When it, you're panting, put the window open. Um, Matilda was so good. I would take her to this groomer and um, Jessica, and Matilda would just stand there, didn't need to be on a lead, on a harness or anything else. Myrtle, you saw with the cushion, everything scares Myrtle. And I think she's got very, very sensitive hearing. She's quite noise sensitive. Um, and I've taken her to three different groomers, one near my mum, one in the centre of Marylebone, and this one is um, near Eaton Square on the outskirts of Marylebone. And it's where I took Matilda. And um, I'm going to bring her here because I think this is probably um, going to be the most successful way. But do you know what's interesting about Myrtle is all her nails are black and that's quite rare in a bulldog. Anyway, Mert, you ready? We're going to go and see Jess. We're going to see Jess and I think you're going to enjoy it because Jess is lovely. God. How did she do? Oh, yeah, yeah, she was okay. There wasn't any barking. Well done, Mert. Well done. Well done, Mert. Thank you, Jess. No problem. Give her a treat. You have a treat. Sit, there Mert. Go, sit. Good girl. Good girl. There you go. Good girl. There. Thank you. Well done. Bye, everybody. Bye. Bye. Bye, Daisy. Bye, Daisy.
How was that? Let's have a look and see how they are. Oh, not bad, Myrtle. Nice and neat. Nice and neat. Now I'll go and get mine done, okay? So, since I have been away, this has opened. Now, you know that I go to the Lebanese over there because I have my wraps. I can't even remember what used to be here, but this is beautiful. So this is a Greek, what would you call it? Bar, restaurant, coffee, pastries, food. Amazing, I mean, how could I have walked past this? Just have a look. All these nuts. <laughs> Absolutely stunning. great place to come and meet people it's really cool it's really chilled I've just had a look at the clientele and they are really cool and really chilled and it's pronounced Fion Fion which means something that grows from the soil and this literally grew from the soil whilst I was away so um, it's opposite what was the old post office and the tailor where I get all my repairs done. So do call in, it's stunning. As I say, it is literally like an art gallery. And this, this is where the Japanese bakery is gonna be. So it's next to Dion. So down this end, there is so much happening. And this is right the, um, the other end of Marylebone High Street. So it's Taylor Street, basically. Um, and it's well worth coming down here. These are two new venues that have opened that are going to be fantastic. So, Japanese bakery here. Sorry. When are you opening? Oh, uh, when? Uh, yes. Opening in... This is an exclusive. Okay. Yeah. Right. Do we the the word has already got out in Marylebone. Okay. There's a well, Japanese. <laughs> Japanese bakery. When are you opening? Maybe around September. September. Yeah. Fantastic. And what will it be called? Wa Cafe. Wa Cafe. Cafe. And and are there others? Is this the first? No, we already have one in Yiling. Yeah, yeah. Covent Garden. Next to Covent Garden. Okay, Covent Garden. Yes. Okay, so if anyone is familiar with the Wa Cafe, yes. Cafe in Ealing or Covent Garden, we're going to have one here in Maribone in September, Taya Street. So remember that, everybody. Finger cross, we can open it in September. I'm going to make sure you do. Thank <laughs> we're, we're you. Thank you. Bye now. Bye. 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 Wow. So interesting. I love the fact that things just evolve. And um, yeah, so a beautiful Greek restaurant and coffee shop and a Japanese bakery. Oh, and there's something else I need to show you. So that's Taya Street. This is Marylebone High Street. And about to open, in fact opening tonight, is this massive Aesop. for John Cook. John Cook oh wow there are fans outside I don't know I don't know there are fans outside um, waiting for John Cook I don't even know who John Cook is 
Oh, here's K-pop this. Is, who is it? K-pop that they were waiting for. K-pop? Yeah, K-pop. The Korean like pop stars. This is Natasha, everybody, yeah. who works on my show. I thought I was well in the know. K oh, <laughs> K I call them K-pop. I don't, I don't know. But this is these fans are sleeping out here. Yeah. Till tomorrow. Till tomorrow. Yeah. Natasha, bye. Good farewell, my love. Bye. Here's Dave the cabbie. <laughs> Well, I thought they said John Cook, but it's some it's a Korean band. Korean. How are you? Oh, I'm starving. Yeah, well I bet you're starving. And you've shaved the beard off. I have. I've I've uh, well I shaved it off yesterday. But um I um um what was I gonna say? Um I broke my I finally broke today, I couldn't take any more, so I, I had a yogurt with some blueberries. It, oh my god, you devil, you press self destruct. I'm, I'm sick of salads. If I if I see another leaf I'm gonna throw myself in the Thames. Do you do <coughs> Do you feel that you, um, does your health, do you feel healthier eating well, one quite, salad a day? It's psychosomatic. You think, oh, I'm, I feel healthier. I don't feel any different, but I mean, I must be healthier. Because... But you look, you look much different and you, and you look better without your beard. I, yeah. I told everyone that you had a beard. Yeah, and I shaved um, off. Yes, you look far younger without well, it. It took two pounds off me by shaving it, it off. Absolutely. So you had a yogurt and... A Greek yogurt with blueberries. Well, gosh, Dave. But I've never, I've never, look at how I let sleep. I'm going to kill myself. Well, I say. I've been nothing but salad for that. Well, your bowels will benefit, oh. won't they? Um, Hopefully my skin as well. Oh, this light. Can we turn the overhead light off? It's not doing me any favours. That's better. Thanks, Dave. So, are you craving bread? Well, the thing is, you know, I mean, I, I, I love baguette, French baguettes like you was, like you was talking about earlier. And, um, you know, what I used to eat every, every day before I went to the diet, I used to go to Paul, you know Paul in Margaret Oh, Island. I love Paul, yeah. I love Paul. I used to get, Paul I used is to get, a really good baker's. Oh, I used to get the, the um, Montagna sandwich, the, 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 the long baguettes, the ham and cheese baguettes. So delicious. And so I, do you go to sleep dreaming of bread? Um, well, I'm, uh, actually, I don't crave as much as I thought I, as much as I, thought I would because I seem, to have, I seem to have taken to this low, no carb diet, but I'm really sick of. I'm so fed up with salads. Like I've been eating literally one salad a day for the last six weeks. I think I think you need to bulk up a bit, Dave. I mean, how much longer are you going to go on? Are you going to slowly reintroduce? I was I was going to do it for three months, and then but I, I've done it, been doing it for six weeks now. I don't think I can go for another. No, I think that I think it will be detrimental to your health. I think you can have a bit of toast and you know have the odd sandwich, Dave. Otherwise, your life is going to be very dull. <laughs> Well, well, you love bread though, don't you? I love bread. I love carbohydrates. Mm. And do you know um, Philip Kingsley, the hair man, yeah. who does, you know, he's a hair, he's a, or was, should I say, a trichologist. Oh, yeah. He, well, he said for your hair, you need carbohydrates. You've got a good head of hair. Yeah. So, yeah, you know, but you want to make sure you don't lose it by de depriving yourself of certain... I can't tell how, how you're so thin because you eat carbs all the time. The yeah, but I run around. Yeah, that's, that's right. I eat. Move. Yeah, I'm right. always, I'm never in. I'm always out. You're doing, you know, you're sitting down all day. Sitting down all day, yeah. The that's radio. the thing, listening to me on the radio. Yeah. Now, listen, everybody, um, I'm going to say goodbye. Also, it's Philippe's birthday tomorrow. So, um, if you leave a comment, say happy birthday to Philippe because um, he will. He always reads the comments. Um, what else have I got to tell you? Oh, the Walking Women. Um, if you've just watched this vlog for the very first time, people send in clips of them walking past the woman in Carnaby Street. You won't believe it. We got a clip. There's a walking woman of Carnaby Street in Amsterdam and this lovely lady sent a clip of her walking past it so they're everywhere keep sending the clips the address is there please 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 give me a thumbs up but subscribe if you haven't Dave because yeah. I'm nearly I'm this close to 60,000 subscribers and I really really would love by the end of this weekend if you're watching it on Sunday that by Sunday night I will lie in bed and go I done it 60,000 so if you haven't subscribed please subscribe if you don't know how to cost you nothing get someone to do it Dave um, do it for you and um, get a friend to subscribe it would make it would make my day anyway um, that is it I will see you next week from Dave and myself goodbye say goodbye Dave bye see you next week he sounds lackluster doesn't he